In this video, we are going to discuss a problem on Laplace transforms related to convolution property of Laplace transform. That means, here we are going to get the signal from the spectrum given by using convolution property in Laplace transform. So, observe the problem here. The transfer function of system is given by h of s is equal to 1 by s square into s minus 2. The impulse response of the system is they given transfer function of the system. First thing is they given transfer function of the system. What we need to find out? We need to find out impulse response of the system. Impulse response is nothing but h of t. How we can find the h of t if we, uh, transfer function of the system is given means we know the relation between impulse response of the system and transfer function of the system. This impulse response and transfer function are Fourier transform pairs. That means if you consider Fourier transform or we are in Laplace transform now. If you consider Laplace transform of h of t then you will get h of s. For example, if you are having Fourier transform then Fourier transform of h of t is equivalent to h of omega. Now we are going to solve our equation by using Laplace. Why? Because given transfer function is in s domain. Whenever we saw the problem in s domain definitely we need to take all the relations in the problem as Laplace transform related equations. So, that means here we know the relation of Laplace transform of h of t equivalent to h of s. They are asking what is h of t? They given h of s. How will get means h of t is equivalent to inverse Laplace transform of h of s. Now, I am going to state convolution property once again. That means if x1 of t Laplace transform x1 of s and x2 of t signal Laplace transform is x2 of s then convolution property states that x1 of t convolution with x2 of t if you consider convolution of these two signals and consider Laplace transform for this total signal you are going to get x1 of s into x2 of s. That means the spectrum of this convoluted resultant convoluted signal is equal into multiplication of frequency domains of individual signals. So, now I am going to use this property. They are asking what is the signal? They are asking what is the time domain? Impulse response is always in time domain and transfer function will be always in frequency domain whether in Fourier transforms or in Laplace transforms transfer function will be in frequency domain impulse response will be in time domain they are asking what is the time domain signal for this. So, here h of t is equal to I am going to substitute la inverse transform of 1 by s square into s minus 2. So, here if you want x1 of t convolution with x2 of t, I want to expand this statement that means Laplace transform of x1 of t convolution with x2 of t is equal into x1 of s into x2 of s. If you want time domain signal then x1 of t convolution with x2 of t is equal to inverse Laplace transform of x1 of s into x2 of s. Now, I am just comparing these two equations. You just consider h of t as this time domain equivalent and here you are having h of s as multiplication of two transforms. That two transforms I am considering like inverse transform of 1 by s square into 1 by s minus 2. Like this I am considering this is x1 of s, this is x2 of s. So, how you will get time domain equivalent means if you consider inverse Laplace transform individually then you are going to get your h of t. That means if you consider inverse transform of x1 of s you are going to get x1 of uh, so whatever you are going to get that will be in x1 of t convolution with x2 of t. So, that means here this is equivalent to from inverse transform of 1 by s square we can say that is equivalent to t into u 
u of t t into u of t this is x1 of t convolution with for La inverse Laplace why uh, I am writing convolution means inverse Laplace transform of two multiplied spectrums is equivalent to convolution of those time domain signals. So, the signal related to this is this one that means for this x1 of s x1 of t is this this is x2 of s for that when we are writing x2 of t we need to consider convolution in time domain. When I am discussing this property also I told you convolution in time domain leads to multiplication in frequency domain. Multiplication in frequency domain leads to convolution in time domain. So, similarly here 1 by s minus 2 if you consider inverse Laplace transform that is equivalent to e power 2t into u of t. So, finally this is equivalent to t convolution with e power 2t into u of t like this also you can write. So, I am taking common of u of t and t convolution with e power 2t into u of t will be your answer or t u of t convolution with e power 2t u of t will be your answer final answer. So, just I just applied convolution property here. So, whatever convoluted signals in time domain is there those spectrums are going to multiply in frequency domain whatever the signals we are convoluting in time domain that signal spectrums in frequency domain are going to multiply based on that property I solve this problem and I got the impulse response of the system where they given transfer function of the system in S domain. So, like this way we need to solve problems related to impulse response when transfer function is given in Laplace transforms.